Hello, this is the Phantom Safety Pin. This is the 2010 LP Advent Calendar, and this is a game called Kaleidoscope Reef. Now, normally, you have just the basic play button, but there's also a holiday mode, and since it's the holidays, we're going to play that one. Now, the story is that there are all these fish, this is obviously a, a lion fish, and the coral reefs are being destroyed by oil. These guys, see, they build coral reefs, like here. All the coral reefs wind up being destroyed. So, it is up to these guys and us to rebuild the reef. Now toxins are leaking into the water, and there's also oil. Yeah. Over here. Nasty sludge. As you can see, the animals don't like that, so... It is our job to clean up the reefs with these little uh, spores, these polyps, so we can plant and grow on the reef. Now, normally, uh, this snow and stuff is not here, but I guess it's the holiday edition, it is. So what you're basically supposed to do is take these polyps, plant them on the reef, and they grow into uh, they grow into pieces of coral. So the idea behind this game is to rebuild the coral reef, and that of course is not easy because you have all sorts of animals trying to eat the polyps and such. And also normally uh, they don't turn into presents; they turn into different pieces of coral, but. Uh, what happens here? Like this is an enemy right here. You just hit, click on them, and they go away. In the holiday edition, you get presents. Isn't that nice? And the idea is just to feed the coral. Now this one eats that uh, purple fish. Eats the uh, plankton and such that these pops feed upon. So you gotta get rid of them, like so. And from there, it's just a matter of deciding which coral to feed. Okay, I'm going to ignore that polyp right there, because I already have almost the whole thing ready. But yeah, see those fish can be a pain in the butt. They like to eat the, uh... Yeah, and if you leave the polyps alone too long, they will, uh... Yeah. They'll, uh, disintegrate. Here's what happens when you finish the level. That thing pops up and it launches more coral polyps for the next level. Now this is our main big bad. He's a uh, giant piece of sludge. So what you gotta do is before you can put any coral polyps, you gotta clean everything up. Now you get also these big polyps. And occasionally you'll get ones that are too large to do anything with. And also you don't always have to guide things to the polyps. Sometimes you can play it safe and uh, you don't have to. Sometimes if you're lucky. Now the idea is to get rid of all the sludge. So you have a nice even area for these uh, polyps to grow. And you can also mix and match colors and depending on what colors you mix and match. Like this gulper eel eats a bunch of coral at once, uh, which is why you want it all gone. Well, not necessarily that it eats a bunch of coral, but... Like I said, the more, uh, before you do it, but coral cannot grow on those big patches of oil, or anywhere near the big patches of oil. So that's why you need to get rid of it. Go away, gulp reel. If you're lucky, generally the the coral will wind up feeding itself, depending on where you decide to place it. Like here we have, we don't have much of a problem, right now I'm just kind of fending off some gulper eels. The early levels are very, very easy, um, it becomes much difficult later.
I also can gather a bunch of. But yeah, see, this one eats the. I feel like you can grab a bunch of cor of a uh, plankton at once and feed all of the all of the all of the coral polyps at once. It's a very nice, relaxing little game. I really like it. As you can see, we didn't feed those ones in the middle because we didn't have time to, but it's still okay. As you can see, we have presents here. Normally, those presents are other pieces of coral. There's also a mistletoe, as you can see. Those poisons are bad for the coral polyps. They kill the coral. And now you have ones, like, that specifically want yellow. So I'm just going to plant a bunch of coral. And these coral pieces can go just about everywhere you can conceive. Like, for example, oh, hey, a snowman. Well, so not only can you combine a bunch of coral. Yeah, and at this point, uh, if, if you give these pieces of coral the wrong, uh, the wrong type of plankton, if they're a certain color, that's not good at all. But yeah, you definitely don't want those, uh, poisons. Those are bad. See, now we're kind of running low on yellow plankton to feed it. If you're good at this, <laughs> the octopus is wearing a hat. And you can't put it over here, you can only put it here. There are certain areas occasionally that you can only put it in. These poisons are bad, obviously. Oops, I missed a polyp. But yeah, those, I believe, eat coral polyps. Our coral reef is starting to look better. Our Santa octopus is doing much better. And more coral polyps. But yeah, it's a very it's a very nice, calming little game. I really like it anyway. Yeah, there's ribbon and lights. Now the best part here is like since there's pretty much just blue. If they're purple, they can eat more than one color. Like, if they're a combination of secondary colors, they can eat more than one color. Like, these ones can eat blue and purple. These can eat blue, like, these can eat blue and red. Now, I believe this is where we start experiencing the octopi, because they, they like to eat coral polyps, I guess. So, th those... Sorry, now those, uh, snapperfish, they release toxins, so that's obviously bad. Okay, mouse, no. So if you're careful where you place them, you can get... Now here's where you start getting... The point where you need to, uh, move... Things a little more. By the way, toxins damage polyps. Also, these like to eat... Blanket, I guess. They will actually come down and eat your coral polyps. So you gotta be careful. Holiday edition release a lot more coral polyps than usual. Because normally you don't see this many in this game. 
let's just be me. But, uh, yeah, I can't, there's not a whole bunch I have to say about this game. It's a nice, nope. It's a nice little, uh, quiet, unassuming game. I'm not going to plant more polyps because I already have a bunch that need feeding. I have a bunch of enemies to contend with, too. But, yeah, we're getting there. Oh, a candy cane! Nice! But yeah. You can get a whole bunch more down here, I believe, but not very far. But basically, there's also a mode that's like a free-for-all mode. Now this is what one is tricky. You actually have to feed these ones into the volcano. And what you do is you plant very close to the volcano. These particular polyps can't eat blue, so you throw them in the fire and it incinerates and becomes yellow. Nope! Sorry, go away, squiddly diddly, not today. Yeah, there's not a whole lot I can really say about this level, other than about this game. Other than that, it's a nice, quiet little game. Very, uh, interesting, with a nice message involved. And, uh, yeah, I guess the message is a bit heavy-handed, but what were you expecting from an environmental game? Were you expecting sunshine and rainbows? Because I wasn't. Oh yeah, that one's a red one. I accidentally planted a red coral pop. There are no, uh, bits of plankton in this particular one, I guess, that, uh, the red ones can eat, so I just ignore the red polyps. So this level takes a bit, because you have to actually keep going, creating more yellow, and uh, coming back. The next level becomes kind of a pain in the ass this way. Oops. Damn it. This is taking longer than I wanted. Uh, basically a free play mode. There! Freaking finally! My god! So, uh, yeah, that is literally the most annoying level in this game. There's another level that's ki coming up next that's a little annoying, but not nearly as annoying. Whales are annoying. Those big whales eat so much plankton, and they never seem to get the freaking hint. And here is a particular level with it where the plankton is very, very scarce. Also, the yeah, the coral can grow on the, uh, on the edge there. And the way you feed these...
what you see is these particular coral polypses. Is you uh, hit these shells repeatedly. Oh, I hit, I, I hit a... Uh, Yeah, they also have a really annoying attack where they can, uh... These balls. Yeah, I can't say too much about this game. Just that it's it's a cute little game. I don't have much else to tell you about it. It's just a game. <sighs> Sorry, there's just so much Not have any plankton whale. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is this game is just. There's not a whole bunch to say about it. You go around, you feed coral. It's it's about as different as gardening. Eat the poison whale. Oh no! Uh, I didn't put these in very good spots. There we go. And now the whale's on. Yeah, I could have added more there, but the freaking poison would have killed all the piles before I had a chance. And, uh, those freaking whales are just too annoying. So this, but the, yeah, now here's finally the, uh, boss level. So what you want to do is move this, and basically you gotta continue to grow your, uh, Nope. Your plankton polyps over and over and over to get a a decent uh, stack going. So what I like to do is I like to stack up all the coral polyps. Got a piece of coral going, and uh, it's not the. Uh, And it's not like the uh, kind where you can just aim and go either. It's really, actually, legitimately difficult. No, I just want the red one. Okay. But yeah, you gotta be careful because if you if you don't think fast, this will kill your polyps before you have a chance to. Uh, Get them to live. It likes to kill them as fast as you uh, put them down for whatever reason. Like usually it'll also sl sludge up the area like that. Sometimes it'll do it a lot. So you have to clean it up a lot before you can put the polyps down. Like there I missed a polyp because of the mess. It likes to belt out toxins every so often too. So, but as long as you're really careful, you should be just fine. Like, I think it's kind of clever how, like, from the original, like when they were uh, 
Nope. Oh, damn. Yeah, I think it's kind of clever how, like, like what they did, like, instead of doing how the original had it, like, now they have all sorts of, uh, different, uh, holiday decorations. Yeah, and you also have sludge, which, of course, you don't want, because it means your girl can't go there. What? If you're fast, you can catch those and deflect them. I'm usually never fast enough, though. Like, I almost caught that one. But yeah, be, oh, come on. I did not mean to feed it to that yellow one, and you know it. What it's hoping, I guess, will do is eventually make a mistake on it, and it so it can kill your coral polyps. Oh yeah, those those eat coral, by the way. We didn't encounter them earlier, but usually you encounter them in the final level, and they like to eat your coral. And I mean, they really like to eat your coral. Like, I'm not gonna even focus on cleaning up the mess right now. No! But those are, like, the legitimately the most irritating enemies in the game. Huh! Damn it, that was the one I was working on. Couldn't have said a sludge. Yeah, see there, I just caught one and sent it back. Come on, I need more blue coral pots. Oh no, we don't need that toxin there. We need the blue coral. No! But yeah, as you can see, it gets kind of difficult fast. Or really, not not even difficult, just not very easy. Like, I'm not planting any more yellow ones, because yellow ones are, like, apparently the hardest ones to feed, I guess. saying so much. <laughs> but yeah, see, I'm generally pretty good at deflecting the toxins back. If you, if I think fast. Oops, I wasn't fast enough for that one. Yeah, sorry again, I'm not saying so much, but... This game takes just a lot of concentration, and if you're not concentrating at all times, you could have problems. And we are almost there, just one more to go. No, go away, parrot fish. And I don't even care, I'm not even going to focus on uh, cleaning up the area at this particular moment. Oh, there's no blue one? Fail. Okay, guess I'll just focus on getting red then. How come I always catch a toxin when I'm trying to get the red pieces? There we go. And that's basically the end of, uh, end of, uh, Kaleidoscope Reef. Um, they just, they chase off the pollution monster and eventually it explodes and goes away. Which, wouldn't that be kind of redundant because it exploded everywhere anyway. And there we go.
The core wreath has been saved. How joyous. Yay! Really nice fireworks displays of coral polyps bursting all over the place. Also, aquarium mode has been unlocked. And that was Kaleidoscope Reef. This is the Phantom Safety Pin. Sorry we had so many freaking interruptions. Hope we won't have any more next time. And until then, I will see you later.